Hello and welcome to the Little Metske channel. In this video we're having a look at AKB uh, Smartphone Dictionary. This is a great dictionary and is really feature filled. In this video we're going to uh, find out some of the best features and how to use them. The basic search is pretty straightforward. You type into the box in English or in Japanese. You can use any of the native Japanese scripts or you can type it in in Romaji. So let's give it a go. Here you can see the results and first let's look at the blue. You've probably noticed that there are different shades of blue and the darker blue the more common the word. The second thing to be aware of is the autocomplete section. Here AKB gives suggestions of possible words, structures or phrases that use your search as part of it um, that you may be looking for. This can be quite useful um, as you may discover that what you're actually looking up, what you actually don't understand in a sentence is a grammar structure or a phrase, um, idiomatic phrase or something like that. So it could be very useful for finding those sorts of phrases that you don't yet know. Finally, at the bottom, you have the autocorrect section. We didn't need it here, but if you're as inaccurate as me when typing on a phone, this is a great feature to prevent the frustration of um, repeated uh, uh, typing errors. Um, now, if you click on the entry you want to view, you'll find all the information that you might need. As you can see, there is an exhaustive dictionary entry followed by synonyms, example sentences, kanji information and more. That's about it for the basic search, but let's take a look at the advanced search feature. So the advanced search can be accessed by tapping the big magnifying glass in the search box. This option is really useful for finding words that use kanji that you may not know a reading for. And there are two options for input. First, you can handwrite the character or you can search using different radical elements, parts of the kanji. Handwriting is simple enough. You write the character and select the kanji from the list that's generated. When you choose a kanji, you'll be shown the dictionary entries that you might be after at the bottom. Let's say our word is a kanji compound, but we can't write the other kanji. By adding a wildcard character, AKB will give you more suggestions that use this kanji in a compound where it comes at the beginning and the next kanji comes after. The radical option works in a very similar way. You simply choose kanji elements and select from the list given. Elements are ordered by number of strokes. Another search feature is to review your recent searches. This can be achieved by tapping on the circular arrow in the right corner of the search box. Here you will see your searches and which word you clicked through to in a blue bubble. You can rerun searches by clicking on the left side of the arrow or you can review the definitions that you looked at by clicking on the blue bubble on the right hand side of the arrow. That's it for searches, um, but let's review another feature. The next feature is lists. With this feature, you can create lists of words that you have looked up. These can then be reviewed at a later time or exported as a file, etc. It's very simple to use. Simply click the section to navigate to the lists front page. And then in the bottom right, press the white on pink plus button to add a new folder. To name the folder, press and hold. Tap the pencil and type in your name. Press the 
plus at the side of the folder to add a new list. You name it in the same way as the folder. And then you need to activate the list in order to start adding words to the list. You can only have one list active at any one time. Then when you search a word, click into the dictionary entry, scroll down and under lists, click not in active list, tap to add button, and obviously it adds it to the list. Going back to the list, you can see the entry has been added to the list and you can even uh, review a flashcard quiz with all of the words in the list to help you learn the new words. That also brings us on to the final feature that we'll look at in this video. Akibi has Anki integration. This means that you can instantly add a word that you have searched on AKB to Anki to learn later. To do this, you just need to turn the setting on. So use the three dots, tap options to navigate to the AKB options, tap on general settings, find the Anki integration section and, and tap that. If it's not already selected, just make sure you choose full. Then when you have a word you want to add, you scroll to the bottom of the dictionary entry and you have to give permissions requested by AKB. And then you can choose the deck the note will be added to. You can expand to see all the options. You can then add tags to be applied. Finally choose the note type it, and again you can expand to see all the options. You can then choose what information goes into which field and when you've done simply hit the add to deck option. If you open Anki you'll see the new card that has been added. This is a lovely feature as it does help reduce the work of sort of inputting cards into Anki. That's it for this video. There are other features of AKB. Do explore the different features. You can also run an inbuilt interactive tutorial that's very useful to get started. And just before we finish, there is a sort of hidden feature that I think is very useful. That feature is the fact that AKB can be used offline in full. So I do hope you enjoy using this fantastic dictionary. Um, good luck with the studies and thanks for watching. Matane.